Good evening, ladies, as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here with some more Hearthstone Arena action. Mage has really fallen behind. I've actually, like, played Mage a lot less than any of the other classes. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of catch-up here. And start off with an Emperor Cobra. <clears throat> Continuing on with a Chillwind Yeti. Good start. Good start. Oh, and okay, everything good and happy ends. Okay, I'm not going to take these garbage one-drops. We'll take the dollar on mage, because spell damage, obviously, for mages is pretty good. This is just not as good as a Cobalt Geomancer. Motherfucking Water Elemental. All i got to say about that one. And, um, spell damage is great for mages, but I'll take a Kodo here. Okay, we need two drops. We need two drops, and there we go. There we go. As if on cue. Oh my gosh. I actually have lost a couple of games to Spellbender, but I've only... Oh, so, sorry. I thought this was Ice Block. Spellbender! Pretty good secret. Usually it's worse than Counterspell, but if it's something like a Blessing of Kings, for example, then it's just the ridiculous thing. I'm not going to take it, though. I'm just going to take a Blood Knight. I find that people do play with Argent Squires and Scarlet Crusaders a lot, and um, Silver Moon Guardians and Sunwalkers to a lesser degree. Sometimes Paladins will put an Argent Protector on a guy and then not use it right away. So this is just pretty solid. My real concern is I need two drops. I need two drops. Pretty bad. These are both good cards. I want them both, but I can't pass on Polymorph. I currently have zero removal, so that would just be unpassable. And here is a choice that I've actually had to make a, a, a startlingly large number of times in my life. Pyroblast versus Sea Giant. I actually picked Sea Giant even when Pyroblast cost 8 mana. I maintain that Sea Giant is the correct answer. Sucks to be passing on a Violet Teacher, but you can't really pass on Blizzard. That's just too good. And we have another Epic. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of Epics here. We got Sea Giant... And Blood Knight already. This is the third epic. I don't think that's normal. Okay, so Ice Block. I've lost to this a couple of times, but it's always been in Constructed. And um, Spellbender, again, uh, do I hate the Mountain Giant enough to take Spellbender? I do, actually, so I'm going to take Spellbender. Alright, we have another over fucking overpowered Water Elemental, but I'm going to take Fireball because I need some more removal. Wouldn't mind some Frost Bolts. Oh, this is garbage. This, this is garbage. Ah. So the Raging Worgen's kind of interesting for mages because... If you just play it, your opponent always has to worry that you'll enrage it with your hero ability. Mages is the only one who can do that. And then smash for eight. <sighs> I'll take a Frost Wolf Warlord, but I am not happy about it. I just didn't want any more three drops. We'll take a second Polymorph. Oh, do I want a two drop? Okay, we'll take a second Polymorph. I really need two drops. Really badly. All right, we'll take this for removal. I'm actually a little bit lacking for cheap removal because I haven't seen any Frost Bolts. Here we'll take Arcane Intellect over the second Wolf Rider. I do want some card draw. I need two drops. Oh god, what is happening? And why is this draft giving me no two drops? Um, okay, Dark Iron Dwarf. Keep a balance here. All right. Oh no, are you kidding me? It's wolf versus Flame Strike. Well, you can't pass on Flame Strike, especially when you have so little removal. I need to take a Flame Strike. I need two drops, for God's sakes. Oh my god. Oh my mother... Fra 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 god. Acolyte of Pain is good because you can trigger it yourself and get cards, and this is good because it's a pretty big body. I'm going to take the Mad Bomber. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I need to have two drops in this deck so I can actually play things early on. All right, Knife Juggler. Perfect. It costs two mana. It's in. All right, Water Elemental number two. Fine. Uh, these are terrible cards, so I'll take Arcane Explosion. I'd rather have a Frost Bolt. Am I desperate enough for two drops? I'll take a Wolf over a second Fireball. Well, right now I've got one, two, three, two drops. I guess that's all right. Yeah, that's not that's not all right. I'm just trying to convince myself so I can take Fireball. I can't take Fireball. I gotta take the Wolf. I need anything to play on turn two. Um, okay, Chill Wind Yeti. Fine. Ah, oh, Armani Berserker. Great. All right, this is really coming together here. Coming together. It's coming together, all right. There we go. We've, we've got it. We've got it. Now I can take Cone of Cold or Ascension. Let's go ahead and let's take a look. We actually have a lot of really good four drops in this deck already. We have two Yetis, two Elementals, and a Dark Iron Dwarf. I mean, do I need Ascension? You know, I actually do need Ascension because I got no Taunt except for my Sunwalker. So as much as lovely as Cone of Cold would be, I've got to get some Taunt in here. Okay. Now, Archmage is interesting. It would work well with Arcane Explosion, Flame Strike, Blizzard, and Fireball. No Frost Bolts, though, or Arcane Missiles. Uh, how much do I have here? I have one... I have two big... I have two big things. Two big creatures. Frost Wolf Warlord could be big. I could just rely on my four drops, though, which are excellent. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the Panther here. Keep the curve low and rely on my four drops to win games. We have another Epic here. Now, Mountain Giant, I don't have enough card draw to make it worthwhile. Just the Arcane Intellect isn't going to do the job. 
So we're going to take a big game Hunter here, which is actually a lot more playable. My girlfriend wished me good luck. Thank you. Good luck to you, too. She talks like she's not good at Hearthstone, like she plays without caring, but she's actually up to rank 15, which, if you watched my Quest to Legend videos, is not a trivial feat to achieve. And, uh, I have, like, you know, a, a whole lot of cards, like all the rares, all the commons, bunch of epics. She just, uh, is playing on a free account and hasn't bought anything. She's pretty good at this game. I, I, we were thinking of doing, like, a, you know, coaching type of series together, but I don't know how that, how well that would work, because she actually knows how to play this pretty well. She doesn't really, like, care or try, but she manages to make the magic happen. Alright, well, let's take a look here. This is a hand that's a bit slow. But depending on what my opponent plays, I could still hold on. Notice how Arcane Explosion is just, like, worse than Frostbolt most of the time. Alright. Mind Vision. Um, well, he can get some stuff that's really good, like Water Elemental or Sengen. He could also, of course, steal the coin. If he takes Arcane Explosion, I really couldn't care less. Yeah, that was, that was a really swingy Mind Vision. He could get really great stuff or just total crap, basically. Alright, this is a little bit unfortunate. If I don't get a 2-drop... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Perfect. Alright, I will just use Arcane Explosion here. So it's a 1-to-1, one one, my 2-mana two, two spell for his. I'm not going to hold on to it to try to make it any better. I'm not going to just ping his thing off and leave the 1-1 one, one sitting around. We're just going to clear that board out. Stupid monkey on the prowl. Well, I think it's worth it to play Chilwin Yeti. This is very difficult for a priest to kill on turn 4, because it has 4 power, and it'll kill the stupid monkey. He needs, like, a light spawn here. If he played light spawn, I would fireball it. That is not what the doctor ordered. Mind vision number two. Well, this one's almost gonna almost guaranteed to get something good. Alright, here, let's go ahead and play Senj well, do I need the taunt? Do I need the taunt? Yeah, let's play Senjin. I don't need the taunt, but what this can do is um Maybe beta shadow word pain so that my water elemental is more likely to survive. If he did steal a water elemental or a ascension, at least I have fireball to kill it with. Hmm, he is gonna shadow word. Does he have a holy smite? Nope. Oh, poor guy. He stole my Dalaran Mage, and that is not what he wanted to steal. I could play a 5-5. Five five. I could play this and ping something, but pinging is not all helpful. I could play this and this, and kill the, um, Swordsmith. Hmm. Actually, what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'd rather get more creatures on the field than, than just one big one. I'm gonna kill the Dalaran Mage. So the idea here is that this Yeti will now kill the Master Swordsmith as well. Man, I'm addicted to these lacy cookies. I had a bit of a scare last night. I looked at the the survey at the like um information. It was 120 calories. I'm like, all right, how many cookies is that? One cookie. One cookie is 120 calories, and I had like six of them yesterday. But whatever. That's the nice thing about being you know 28 and still having a good immune system. Is um you know or sorry a good good metabolism you can just uh, go a little wild sometimes like you were a kid and, and not suffer too much for it. Is someone injured? Wow, it's a third mind vision. <laughs> Lol. I don't know what he hopes is gonna happen with those. We got a couple of options here. One is to fireball the Senjin. Then my minions can kill off the North Strike Cleric, and I can also play a Demonte Berserker. 
I could also ping my Berserker, have him kill the Sengen. The North Strike Cleric lives, but then I could also play Water Elemental and threaten to kill it. Um, I actually like the plan of, um... Hmm. Yeah, I like, the, I, like, I like the plan of killing everything he has. So we'll do that. We'll do this. Now, I think that if maybe I didn't have a, a, a creature to play, I would have gone for the other approach and gotten the Water Elemental down. But since I had another two drops to drop, which is the best two drop in the game, because I can ping it myself and deal five damage, um, I think I feel like that tilted me towards the use, use of the Fireball there. Hmm. Grimashi Berserker, huh? Alright, we'll go for it. Let's play the Frost Wolf Warlord here. Let us, um... Uh, let's think about this. I could do it a couple different ways. I could enrage this guy, or I could throw this guy in, actually. Yeah, I've got nothing else to do with my Fire Blast. Okay, we'll do it like this. I'm gonna run in. But Dollar and Mage survives. I run in here. This guy was going to die anyway because he only had two health. Then we ping this off. Now we hit for two. And we got a 7-7 seven, seven here. He needs a Shadow Word Death as I drop Cookie Crumbs on the floor. Oh god, Cookie Crumb, where are you? Well, whatever. Uh... He did steal a friggin' water elemental. Well, what I will do here is think very carefully. I could ping this, kill this engine, kill the water elemental with my Frostwolf Warlord. Problem with that is my guy will be frozen. I could kill this engine with the element with the warlord, ping this, run into the water elemental. Problem there is this thing lives with one health. But I could throw the Dalaran Mage into it as well. Hmm. That's kind of two for running myself, but I am so far ahead on cards, I don't even care. I would actually rather have that Warlord not be frozen and lose the Dalaran Mage than keep the Dalaran Mage and have a frozen Warlord. So now we'll do this and this. He's in massive amounts of trouble. Mind Control is still a turn away, and even if he had it, it wouldn't save him. My creatures all kind of trade with each other. He has 13 damage coming his way, 16 with the Wolf Rider. You'd better have some pretty amazing cards. That's a pretty expensive card, but it is not going to do it for him, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, I even got a Dark Iron Dwarf. Well, that is, as they say, insult to injury. I was going to do the Wolf Rider plus the Fairy Dragon. This is obviously even better. Whack, whack. Whackity whack whack and whack. Well, this is lethal, right? 11, 17, 18. Yep, yeah, after he heals. So he has to do something here. Life gain, removal, something. He could like Holy Nova twice, but that would still leave me with this elemental. Alright, no hold no no poor man's flame strike. He's got an Azure Drake. You should have played this first, because you should always draw cards first just in case. Alright, now let's see, we got 11, 14, 15 damage. Stampy Dakota, look, th th this is this, this is the story of my life, ladies and gentlemen. This is the story of my life. This is what Stampy Dakota is for me. And then for other people, it's just nothing but gold money cash dollars. I am just gonna play it. The... That's a 3-5 for 5 mana, which is not that great. But, you know, the odds of him playing a 2-drop that I actually need to, need to kill, or a 2-toughness creature that I actually need to kill with Kodo... It's just small. Okay, the only thing you could really get here that would help is my Sunwalker. He gets my Sea Giant, but unless you can give it Taunt, it doesn't matter. And he does not have a way to give it Taunt. He just is an Amani Berserker. So that is the game, then. Is he going to concede, or is he going to let me kill him? Oh, well uh, he gives a well played. He should have, you know, hung tight. Maybe I missed the win. Maybe I was going like, to run my Warlord into the Sea Giant. You never know. Anyway, that was a good game. We beat Pajamas pretty easily there. How is my lady companion doing? Is she still playing? She's still doing battle in play mode. So what happens is, she doesn't actually, um, like, ever play Hearthstone of her own volition, but her son got hooked on it, so he keeps on asking her to play. And 
She's le- so she she asks to like play, and then he like watches. He he's four years old. He can't read yet. He doesn't really understand much of what's happening, but he likes the voice acting on the cards, and he'll like repeat the lines. And then he'll get really excited when when she wins, and he'll be like, "We won!" But then when she loses, she'll be he'll be like, "You lost." Ah, sweet kid. Bit of a jerk, though, but sweet kid. Now, I'm gonna keep this, because just in case I don't get any other three drops, I wanna have something I can play at least on turn three. Do I keep this awesome four drop? I'll do it. It's a little risky, but god, Water Elemental is so insane. Especially difficult for Paladins to kill it. I feel like even if I start off behind, I'll, I'll be able to catch up if I drop this thing. Well, we got a Mad Bomber, which could have been either, uh... Spiteful Smith or an Acolyte of Pain, and you can see like why you have to sometimes make those decisions. I took this awful card that I hate and never want to play with over two cards that I like just fine because I need to have stuff on curve. And so here I'm dropping a t two drop. Uh, and it actually, I, I win the Mad Bomber coin flip here. Two went on his face, one went on mine. We'll see what I have to do next turn. Um, The Mad Bomber will kill a recruit if he plays a recruit. I'll kill a two drop if he plays a two drop. We'll probably play this. Um, I mean, this is good at mopping up recruits, but if he doesn't play a recruit, I really want the extra power from the Blood Knight. And of course, don't let Paladins keep creatures, is the name of the game. He could now coin into a True Silver Champion, but I actually wouldn't even mind, because then I could play this, True Silver Champion can't kill it, there's almost no way for him to kill it then, next turn. Well, unless he plays like a, I don't know. What would he play for four mana? Like a Hammer of Wrath, I guess, and then True Silver into it. But anyway, it's almost impossible for him to kill this thing next turn. And so then it'll start freezing him, and he might, I might be able to stop him from using the weapon. I've got the Coda, which could kill a Recruit or something better, depending. All right, he's got a Recruit. The story of my life is that Coda always wants to cost four mana. I would totally, 100% be down with Kodo being like a 3-4 and costing 4 mana. Or even like a, I don't know, a 3-3 three, three and costing 4 mana. Just so I can get the, get this guy down sooner. Twilight Drake, oh that's big. That is real big. And it does not die to anything I have. I need Polymorph and I didn't get it. Hmm. Well, this is a little risky, but I am going to play the Cobra. And uh, try to kill the Twilight Drake with the Cobra. I'm going to actually freeze the Twilight Drake. And in case things go awry, let's also ping it. That way I've got, like, plans within plans here. I can use the Cobra to kill it, or if need be, I can ping it plus one of my guys. I just don't want to have to ping next turn. I'd much rather play the Kodo and kill off a recruit. Assuming he plays a recruit. Yeah, yeah, the fact that he's a second player really helped him here. The Twilight Drake is bigger by two. It would have only been a 4-6 if he had been the first player, and that would have been not nearly as scary. Mm. Dr. Caballeros. Nice, it's a pretty good name. So does he have a Hammer of Wrath or a True Sliver to kill this Cobra? If he does, then next turn I'll ping this and finish it off with Blood Knight. If he doesn't, then I'll be okay. Now he can also Consecrate, which is what he's going to do. Luckily for me, the Cobra survives. Oh, does he actually have an Elven Archer or sort of like a 2-drop or a Charging Murloc or something? Please God, no. Oh no, and I've already used my Divine Shield. Well, that's okay, that's okay. So uh, luckily I'm an overpowered mage, we can do this, and this. The issue of course is that now, um, I still get a pretty good drop here, the Yeti's pretty solid. I couldn't play the Kodo to kill this thing while I had the chance, and so now he could Blessing of Kings or whatever and make my life a living hell. So yeah, he's got the advantage, he's got seven cards on the board, or on the screen to my six, soon to be six. But if I can kill this with the Kodo, then I will be ahead. And next turn I can Kodo plus Ping. I would have loved to play the Kodo last turn, but then I wouldn't have had enough mana to finish off the Twilight Drake. And of course my Blood Knight came down too early. Such is the story of my Liberty Liberty life. He has the Blessing of Kings! Motherfucking hell! Uh, can't catch a break. Well, okay, I caught a little break. I'm gonna get to kill this with my Stampeding Kodo, and then this Kodo will die to that guy, but... Well, I could play this, but again, Kodo costs too much mana. Fuck it, I'm just gonna play the Kodo. Whatever. And we'll play the Berserker because it's a little risky if he buffs with like a Shattered Sun Cleric, but he's gonna use this to kill the Kodo. This this would also kill it, so this is not really in danger. He's got six cards on the screen to my five, soon to be six. It's very, very, very dicey. I could have Blizzarded, I guess. Uh, maybe that would have been, that would have, might have been worth considering. I don't know. 
feel like a blizzard could be very good later on. Mops up all the recruits and potentially freezes some big things. Maybe sets me up for a flame strike to catch back up if I fall super far behind. Blizzard one turn, flame strike the next is just so devastating. Pretty much the only way to survive that is to then after the blizzard play big stuff that survives flame strike. He has that guy which will kill my berserker unfortunately. And then this guy can kill my Kodo. Is he going to do anything better? He's going to put Blessing of Wisdom on it. So that's just a one mana cycle. He's not going to get more than one off of that. Is he actually going for my face? Oh my god. Oh my. Well, that is some. Um, that is not what you do, ladies and gentlemen. Now I could actually polymorph this. Or I could ping and blizzard. Ping and blizzard. It sounds like some kind of a promotional deal. Come on down to Liffy Lou's Wackety Wednesdays. We got a ping and blizzard on sale for the... Okay, anyway. um, So I could polymorph this. Wolf Rider that. And then keep the blizzard. I could blizzard and keep the other stuff. Hmm. What is more valuable to me? These two cards or this one blizzard? You know, polymorph will take out big things. Blizzard won't. Let's go ahead and ping that. Blizzard it up. And we're going to swing for five. That was horrifically bad. He should have killed my board. And I'm not just saying that because I had Blizzard. Like, just, you know, you gotta. he could have popped Divine Shield, killed the Berserker. He could have hit me in the face with the, the thing. And, but, like, a Paladin's not very good at Burnination. So now he's got five cards to my five. Master Removal's not going to work unless he drops two cards, Equality and Consecration. Hammer of Wrath would go and have him go up a card, so that would be pretty good for him. But yeah, we're equal on cards, about equal on life. He should be ahead, and he isn't, because he didn't kill my creatures. So we got a little bit of a freebie here. Not to say that I'm going to win this game, but I'm, I have a much higher chance now than I should have. Okay, that is not very effective here, unless he has a buff for it, which he fucking does. Because of course he does! Ah, uh, Crap. That's annoying. Ugh. Well, you do what you do. So, Sunwalker, Texas Ranger, is pretty nice here. Um, we will play the Wolf Rider, use that to kill the Shatterstone Cleric, no point running that in, so we'll just hit him in the face. Very difficult for a Paladin to deal with a Sunwalker, he pretty much needs a Silence as his best bet, but even if he does have a Silence, this thing hits for three, these guys have five health. He's got a Faces Manipulator, which I am 100% dandy with, since I have a Polymorph that I saved from earlier. That uh, was pretty, pretty fortunate. So this is going to be a very good turn for me, I'm going to get to Polymorph this, Ping away the sheep, and then kill this guy with my divine shield. Kodo can kill a recruit. Ah, I said a harvest call. That's a pretty good answer. Well, that's actually I'm actually okay with that. So we'll leave the sheep alive for now, but we should be good unless he has more blessings of kings. Yeah, sorry, bud. You can't attack the Kodo because of taunt. He's actually got a pretty good deck for how badly he's playing. Interesting. We have arcane explosion. That is. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. The game's a little weird. This arrow will not stop. And I cannot cast my card. Oh no, am I going to lose the game because of stuff being weird? Oh my god. Oh, Jesus, good lord, Christ. Is my internet dead? Let me check my internet real quick. Nope, my internet works. My internet works. The game, however, is bugged. It keeps on pointing. Oh, okay, so I can, I can do that. I just, oh, there we go. Huh. That was a little scary. I don't know what the hell was going on there. We'll do this. That. Is it worth it to pop Arcane Explosion just to kill off the sheep? I don't think it is. We'll play the Dalaran Mage. We'll call it a day. So you got, I got to leave him with a sheep. If he plays Blessing of Kings Divine Shield, then so be it. But I feel like this buffed up as it is by the dollar on mage to be like kind of like a consecration that doesn't damage the face and it also kills off all the recruits seems worth it he's gonna hammer of wrath and draw a card maybe fishing for another blessing of kings did he get it he's got a crazed alchemist okay that's interesting because it doesn't actually die to the sheep because of taunt does he have a silence so the sheep can kill my dollar on mage yes yeah, true silver champion so the sheep can kill this with the help of true silver champion ah, that's annoying well, I guess if I had played Arcane Explosion, this guy would actually still be alive. Although he could have Crazed Alchemisted that, and then it would have had four power, and then the True Sword Champion would have still killed it. So it's not that big of a deal. 
Frostwolf Warlord is a 5-5, that's fine. Now, I could consider Arcane Explosioning to kill this. However, it's pointless because the True Silver Champion still kills this guy anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw that away. So here we are in a top deck war. It's nice being a mage. I can kill off his recruits, and I can also super kill them if I have Arcane Explosion. A 5-5 is a pretty good start in a top deck war. He's got two cards here. We'll see if they're any good. Oh, that Hammer of Wrath, letting him kill a thing and draw a card was, was very, very, very strong. I've got Arcane Intellect for card draw, which is nice. Abusive Sergeant does nothing. Okay, this might be the time to Arcane Explosion. He's going to three mana draw a card. It's not super impressive, but... Still kind of annoying. I'd rather he had a bad card than the next card of his deck, unless the next card is a bad card. Ah, that was a really good commentary, Boris. Good job. Is he going to hit my face? He is. Interesting choice. I would have kept this around for killing off the Frost Wolf, unless this is another True Silver Champion. What is he putting on my face? Hammer of Wrath? Nope, he changes his mind. It is a Hammer of Wrath. Okay, so he's just going to deal a bunch of damage and draw a card. Well, at 10 health, I feel pretty good against the top-decking Paladin. Flame Strike is a little extreme. We are going to do Arcane Explosion here. Let's learn from our mistakes. Let's uh, kill off his stuff. I think I have a Fireball in here. That would let me win the game. No Frost Bolts, unfortunately. If I top-deck Sea Giant, I'll be very sad, because that could have been a Pyroblast, and that would end the game. I'll be very sad indeed. That's not a big deal. What's he got with this other card here? He has no idea that I have Flame Strikes. So I just top decked it, but he is playing pretty cautiously. Hey! Arcane Intellect. Panther and Shield Master. Hmm. All right, uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'll play this engine. We'll kill this, and I'm gonna ping off the Recruit rather than drop a Panther. So now I've got 8 and 9 damage being threatened, and the Panther should finish him off unless he gets a Consecration or Avenging Wrath to kill it while it's in stealth. Or, of course, a Taunt. But Flame Strike plus Ping plus my creature should kill just about any Taunt. Makes another Recruit. And a Consecration, which does absolutely nothing. Excellent. And a Consecration. Okay, okay, I see what you did there. He played a four, poor man's Flame Strike, except it was even better because it... Got me down to 6 health. That's okay, that's a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. Um, these, with these... With all this burnination, but I mean, he's a paladin that's like one of the worst class for burning out your opponent from a, from a moderately high life total. From like the mid-teens is where he started really just throwing everything at my face. He put a true silver at my face, he hammered a wrath my face. Loot order is not going to save him, the poor little guy. Rolling some weed. I could bad manner flame strike here, but I will not. Could also bad matter water elemental let's just paint his face and call it a dippity dizzle day well that was a bit of a tough game definitely a bit of a tough game i would probably given how close it was i would almost certainly have lost if he had um played correctly and killed my minions the one turn where he had a chance to so he made a strategically bad call he chose to go for the race as a paladin when I had a pretty high life total and minions on the board that he could have killed instead. And when he had card advantage and could have just fought fair and ground me out. So he screwed up and I won the game because of it. So thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to help me out. And I'll be back soon with the rest of the games in this run. See you in just a moment.